So has Formula E fixed its most dangerous issue? So already this season, the Gen 3 car has exhibited one of its most dangerous qualities that we noticed from last season. And I'm not talking about batteries here or anything like that. I'm talking about something far more fundamental, and that's brakes. So when I say lack of brakes, I mean the fact that these cars don't have traditional mechanical brakes, that they rely on the motors at the front and the rear of the car to provide all the braking action via progressive regeneration. Now, this last year did cause fundamentally a few issues, notably Sam Bird and Nico Muller at Portland. I'll leave a link to the video in the description that basically explains how these brakes work and the problems associated with them. However, all we can say is the FIA did say they were going to try and incorporate some sort of mechanical emergency brake on the rear axle. Question is, has that been installed? Well, let's take a look. Now this problem came to light this year already in the Diria race when the Maserati rookie driver Johan de Ruvela probably uttered one of the most frightening phrases I think a race engineer will ever hear. Yeah, I have a failure. I have a failure on the brake. It'll reach and it's off. And a failure. And it's very... Now to me, I know these guys are seasoned racing drivers, but anybody applying their foot to the brake pedal and not getting any response back must be a really terrifying prospect and place to be. So if we look back to last season, Sam Bird lost the drive shaft, which ultimately meant he was unable to brake. Now, this isn't really the same situation that we found in Diria. However, Nico Muller's crash was strikingly similar to what happened in Diria. But ultimately, there was two different outcomes. Nico Muller tried to brake, but unfortunately, he was unable to apply any braking power as he had a complete system failure, ultimately sending him off the racetrack and into the crash barrier and thankfully he walked away with no harm done. Now the FIA had recognised during the testing of the Gen 3 car that this was a safety issue and they had promised to install some form of mechanical brake on the rear axle that could be used in emergency situations such as power outage or, or the failure to, to stop within the confines of the track and they said that the use of such a brake would be monitored quite heavily. However, we've not actually heard any actual evidence that it's been installed, so we can only go on the evidence that we can see from the race track that we've had so far. So when Deruvela hits the brakes, the front axle locks up. Now don't forget, these cars don't have any traction control or ABS that you'd find on any other road-going vehicle. They're exactly the same as any other Formula Racing. So they are solely reliant on the driver's ability and you know, I can imagine mashing your foot to the floor and absolutely getting no feedback is quite a frightening prospect. Now, that being said, if he's mashed his foot to the floor, the front axle did lock up, as we can clearly see. The rear axle didn't, however. Now again, there's no traction control or ABS at play. So in my mind, this must mean that the mechanical brake has taken hold of the rear axle, disengaged the electric motor, and was able to find traction in order to slow him down. And ultimately he came to a safe stop well within the runoff space of the corner. Thankfully, no harm done and he was able to exit the vehicle and unfortunately couldn't continue the race, but ultimately he was safe, that's the main thing. So I think it's safe to say this issue has now been resolved and the drivers are going to be far more safer out there on the track. And ultimately the sport can learn something from this, that the reliance on technology, although it's great and is a real benefit in the real world scenario, safety is still a key factor and perhaps maybe putting full reliance on regen was perhaps maybe a step too far in this current era of racing. And you just need that safety net available to the drivers, which I think from the evidence we've seen is now available to them. And thankfully, hopefully it doesn't have to be used for the rest of the season.